Hello, my name is Barry Jaspin. I'm auditioning to be the host of your show about amateur inventors. I don't actually have any on-camera experience, but as an amateur inventor and an entrepreneur myself, this just seemed like a really fun thing to try. When most people think about inventions, they think about high technology. We have medical technology and biotechnology and nanotechnology, space technology, auto technology. We have all kinds of people doing very advanced, complicated research, inventing crazy, unimaginable things. But it's important to understand that an invention can actually be incredibly simple. An innovation only has to affect people's lives in some useful way, and sometimes that can be very, very simple. Most inventions start with a problem. Someone is doing something and they think, you know, this is annoying. There's got to be a better way to do this. I've been a skier since I was a little kid, but about 10 years ago, I decided to learn to snowboard. So I got a board, I got some boots, I went out to the mountain, I learned how to do it. I had a great time. But one thing that I discovered that's different between snowboarding and skiing is that while ski boots are usually buckled, snowboard boots are tied with laces like you have on your shoe. And the thing about snowboard boots is they're a lot stiffer than shoes. So when you try to make your laces really tight so that you have good control over your snowboard, you tend to get your hands raw from tightening the laces. So as a demonstration, here I have my snowboard boot. It goes on just like you would expect like a normal shoe or boot. You slide your foot in, and then you go to lace it up. Again, these laces, they're pretty stiff. The boot itself is kind of tight. You've got to pull it a lot of different times. First, I tighten up the bottom. I hook it around the first layer of loops. I pull again. I hook it around the second layer of loops. And every time you can see, I've got these laces wrapped up through my fingers. I pull, and my hands start to get raw. Finally, I'm done with one boot, and get the lace on. Apparently, I can't tie my shoes very well today. And, okay, great. Now I have to go tie my other boot. Okay, so my problem is, how do I keep my hands from getting raw while tightening my snowboard boot laces? The invention that I came up with is this. It doesn't look like much, does it? It's just a piece of wood. In fact, it's a dowel rod. It's about, oh, three quarters of an inch thick. I cut it to a few inches long, and I drilled a hole in the middle. This is not a very complex piece of technology, but it makes a huge difference when lacing my boots. So let's see how it works. Once again, my snowboard boot. Slide the boot onto my foot. And usually what I do is I loosely bring the lace, take up the excess slack in the laces from the bottom. Then I slide the lace pullers onto the lace. I have to wrap the lace around the puller a few times to give myself some friction on the lace puller. I do this with both laces. And now I can pull the boot very, very tight. And although I'm still exerting force with my hands, it's now against this relatively smooth piece of wood, not the string of the, of the lace right against my fingers. So lower layer tight. Then I get the first set of rungs tight. I get the second set of rungs tight. crossover for my initial tie-off, and then I just open my hands, pull a little, the lace puller slides right off the lace, and I have a tightened boot. I'd like to show you a little more detail about how the lace puller works. You might have noticed that when I threaded the lace through the lace puller, I wrapped it a couple times around the puller. 
I did that to add friction between the lace and the wood. Now I have to apply just a little bit of force with this finger. And as I pull up pretty hard on the puller, this lace does not slide. And yet, if I just lift my finger, now it comes right out. So there you have it, a problem. How do I keep from shredding my hands while tightening snowboard boots? A solution in the form of an invention, a device that addresses the problem that did not exist before. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be high tech. You just see a situation and you think, how could I make this better? And sometimes you come up with something really useful. Thanks.